All right, guys, I know it's been a few weeks since I've uploaded a video. Uh, I've been kind of busy and honestly just needed a break from filming for a little bit. So I thought I would go through every modification on my Dyna. So I'm going to start from the back, go all the way to the front. Uh, and then I'm going to do reviews on each one of these parts as well here in future videos. So starting with the back, obviously just a regular Harley Davidson sissy bar right there. Um lights so i've got halo lights in the back they're just regular generic amazon halo lights you know i think they all come from the same company um the bags on them the bags are pizoma racing club style bags uh love these bags haven't had any issues definitely gonna do a review video on these here probably the next video uh remove the seat lucky dave's seat pretty comfortable obviously review video coming on that the mini floorboards mini floorboards are from joker machine shout out to joker machine for sending those out to me amazing floorboards exhaust exhaust is a d and a d fat cat two into one beautiful exhaust crash bar crash bar is santoro fabworks shout out to santoro fabworks for the crash bar now we're coming to the fun stuff. Bars and risers. Bars and risers are probably the one thing that changed my bike completely. Uh, probably the best modification that I ever did to this bike. The bars and risers, it's a 12 inch riser with a two inch uh, lift bar. They are from Hellband Custom Cycles. Absolutely amazing company, absolutely amazing product. Uh, grips grips are the ODI heart luck grips love those grips levers on here the levers are from joker machine as well um, great levers I love the grooves in them allows you to get a nice firm grip and then obviously we've got a power vision tuner on there on the front we have got a crater fairing uh, and the crater windshield that came with it as well. The fairing itself, honestly, is fantastic. Uh, the windshield, not the best quality. Um, kind of blurry when you look through it, but I have heard that JD Custom Cycles, their windshields fit perfectly on here. So I'll probably go ahead and switch that out to a JD Customs one. Um, other than that, I think the bike is generally stock. Uh, the motor stock, other than, of course, you know, the stage one and the tune. Um... So stock cams, you know, Screaming Eagle 110. Um, you know, it does the trick. Maybe one day I'll go up to a 117. Uh, but yeah, that is all the modifications to my Dyna so far. Uh, there's not much else I want to do to it. Uh, I am thinking about potentially an FXRT style fairing on the front as opposed to the crater fairing. But I haven't quite decided on that yet. But yeah, look for the review videos on all these parts here in upcoming videos.